Well, hello guys. I'm going to start this video by saying what did I just get myself into? As you can see, I do have a brand new toilet. And this is a one-piece toilet, as you can tell. I was not thinking about collecting one-piece toilets because I know they were going to be heavy as shit. And trust me, when I say this thing was a bitch to get out of my car. My car is tiny. Like, I drive a simple Nissan Ultima. And I somehow managed to get this uh, fit in through the back seat. But kind of barely. And trust me, I had some help carrying this out from the place I got this from. And it was heavy. And I almost had a close call getting it out of the car. So that tells you how heavy this thing is. And you would think it probably isn't heavy as I would expect. But it's heavy. So you're probably wondering what this toilet is. Because you've probably never seen anything like this. Well, this is a Reem Richmond Empress toilet. This is a one piece model. And this is a very extremely rare toilet. I think this might be a YouTube first, correct me if I'm wrong, but I have never seen anything like this out in the wild or on YouTube. And trust me, I've been watching toilet videos for like over 14 years now. I've never seen anything like this. So I'm gonna give you guys a simple overview of this toilet, and then we're gonna try to get this thing to flush if I can get it on the damn stand because this thing's a bitch to carry as I mentioned. So let's get started. So you can tell the overall design is quite nice. It looks almost similar to like a standard one piece, but obviously it has some design differences like the base, for example. And it's a very neat design, but it's been done several times. This honestly thought this was a standard one piece at first until I saw the brand. So it kind of threw me into a loop. But here's the inside of the bow. It is a little filthy, but nowhere near as bad as my Walworth when I got it. There's a trapway opening, as you can tell, it is a uh, concealed jets. And it looks very similar to like a Ream, or not really Ream, but like Richmond or Ream Richmond Claremont toilet. This thing's basically just like a one piece Claremont almost, but with some design changes. As you can tell, I kind of need to clean it up. I might do that before I set this up, if I can get it on the stand. But it is a pretty neat looking toilet. We'll get a look inside the tank. You can tell it's not much in there. The handle is original, which is nice. Um, that's not original. I think it's supposed to have like a ball cock, but it was replaced with that. I think my emblem has something similar to that. It's very weird. Oh, and I guess that's part of it right there. But right here we got a flush canister. This one's obviously a replacement. You can tell it's an American Standard one, which is interesting. I actually didn't know these things came with flush canisters, but I looked over my Ream catalog video and apparently it's supposed to come with a canister, but this one was obviously replaced with a retrofit one. I'm not so keen on flush canisters as a whole because they're very flimsy and not super reliable. I just love standard flappers and base kits, but eh, it is what it is. Not much I can do about it. Right there's the water line. There's the model code. And the date's kind of faded, but I think it says September 11th, 57, meaning 1957. So, I believe this is from 1957, but I think it'd be, like, later than that, but that's what it says, so there you go. The tank lid is older. It's actually from September 4th, 1956, so it's a year older than this toilet, which is interesting. But yeah, this is a pretty cool find. It's just going to be a pain to carry. I'm going to try to get this set up so we can get a flush of it. But it's probably going to take some time, considering how heavy this thing is. I have to be super careful with this, because I've already had some several close calls with this thing already. So, yeah, I'm going to have to be very cautious. But I'll try to get this set up and try to get a flush off of it. Before I set this up, you're probably wondering where I picked this toilet up from. Well, I got this from a random Habitat for Humanity up north for around $50. There actually was no price tag on it, so I guess they kind of rounded down the price a little bit. But honestly, $50 for something this super rare and nice is a pretty good price, honestly, even though it's a pain to carry. All right, so I had to get creative with my setup of this because I couldn't lift this thing, so I had to lift this up somehow, and I had to lift it up back first and then just kind of slide it in but I did fill it up close to the water line so let's get its first flush here we go on a 
Honestly, that looks like a pretty good flush. It's a lot more straight down than I expected, but it does have some type of swirl, so that's interesting. Since I already have this thing out, I'm definitely going to do some tests in another video since I already have this thing out, but that will be, like I said, a separate video. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.